Well, this is a little test video to see if my camera is recording both the video and the audio. I'm just taking a night run here to go to a store. Got to get a little something to eat. So, we'll see how this comes out. So, I, I guess I'll just film it and see how it goes. <laughs> I hope you're having a fun and fine and healthy day or evening, wherever you may be. It's kind of nice to have a voice behind the name you've seen for a while, huh? <laughs> yep. Little old me. Alright, this is uh, the end of the development where I live. Uh, I live in a sort of a development park of different uh, good-sized mobile homes. It's been here for a good number of years. Too bad you can't see this fence. It's right across the street from the corner where I'm at. This That used to be a rifle range. Or a gun range. And then over the years, uh, they put in a subdivision. Which is basically one hundred and fifty dollars to $200,000 houses next to each other. And that was the end of that. <laughs> well, it's amazing. Uh, when I first moved here, all of a sudden it would be just before, you know... Not dark, but just after sunset, we'll call it twilight. All of a sudden, you hear pow, 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 pow. You'd hear guns going to play. Whoa, what the heck's going on? And I couldn't figure out until finally, after a number of times, I, I started hearing it, and I traced where the sound was coming from. And that's when I found out there's a rifle range. That's the way it is in the southeast here, in the southeast USA. I live in the state of Georgia. Yeah, a lot, you got a lot of pro gun owners around. So that, and plus we have a, a fort called Fort Gordon for the Army, uh, just a couple of miles away from here. So, got to live with it sometimes. But I guess they moved the range to wherever they moved it. So, got a lot of new businesses in town here. Got a Barney's Pharmacy. That's a, always a busy store. O'Reilly's Auto Parts. Over to my left, uh, a famous restaurant in the southeast called Wife Saver. Saves your wife from cooking. Oh, uh, that's the restaurant. <laughs> American Storage. Well, there's a lot of, lot of free space available there. That not as, as it's free. Eagle Body and Paint Shop. They do a great job. Now we're coming up to the corner. Oh, we got a Fred's Pharmacy and a Bojangles just came into town, which is a famous chicken restaurant. Then we got our quarter gas station. It's the Golden Pantry on my right and the Circle K to my left. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn left here and we're going to go about a mile down the road. We're just passing McDonald's now on my right. That's where I go in case my Wi-Fi signal dies. <laughs> There's what we call an Aaron's rental place there on my right. Now, that's pretty much the business district. This is how nestled in this city of Grovetown. It used to be just a small town. It is. They've widened all the roads. They've put all these subdivisions in here. So... You can imagine the traffic in the mornings and in the evening because it's just bumper to bumper for two, three hundred yards. They're just now starting to get more traffic lights put up because they've got to. Otherwise, dealing it with a stop sign and you're sitting there for 10 to 15, 20 minutes just to get a turn in, that's where you get somebody that's nice and friendly let you in. Now, this is pretty neat. I'm kind of just kind of glancing at my camera. I don't mind me. Uh, I am driving. I got both hands on the wheel, but I've got my camera mounted, so that way you don't have to worry about me uh, holding it on my shoulder or something. There's a few factories around. Now I'm coming up to uh, what I used to call Deer Alley. And that's why I drive a, a lot slower, because I've got nothing but woods on either side of me. Though they've knocked a lot of woods out, a lot of them in this section. Uh, 
plus hunters. But we've we've had issues of deer just coming out of nowhere and cutting across the street. And that could be a scary incident where they could just jump out in front of you. Next thing you know, you gotta try to jam on your brakes and it could be too late. I've seen accidents happen with deer. I've had a couple of close calls in my time myself. Fortunately, I don't speed. Now, I'm going to make a right-hand turn here. And, uh... I'm going into our big area Walmart. That's the big store they just put in here the last couple of years. And it is a super center. It is a huge, huge store that is now pretty much nationwide. So if you live in the United States and you don't have a Walmart, there'll be one there soon. <laughs> it's one of the fastest growing expansion stores that I've ever seen. There's a Walmart ahead of me, but let me tell you what, with the size of the Walmart, because it always attracts business, there's all these other businesses that lease the property or that rent the property, I should say. And uh, it could be another restaurant. It could be a privately owned medical center, uh, anything. Furniture store, haircutting units, all sorts of things come into play. This was nothing but just back brush woods back a few years ago. And now here it is, a Walmart center with a bunch of other businesses. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this camera off here as I gotta search for a place to park. You have yourself a nice day or evening and I'll see you next time.